reforms, where developers can free and economic development. Not to the outside world, but on the African continent as well. So again, today we have all set of projects and farm determination, leading upon the commitment made here in our fourth extraordinary result on the great political crisis for in our system. Turning that initiative to avoid that solidarity for the people of Niger and their democratically elected president, His Excellency Mohammed Bazoum, by condemning the military takeover and the unjust detention of their democratically elected president and other officials. As you may recall, we call the torture to receive the decision of the of them talking a democratically elected government. We proceeded to impose sanctions with the hope that this resolute measure will serve as a catalyst for the restoration of the constitutional order. We get to this Democratic Consolidation of African Nations. The government is forced to accept that some of the indigenous leaders that are in power. We have also made diligent effort through the deployment of various ECOWAS mediation teams. I'm glad Abdul Salam Abubakar is here. His Eminence is here. Rabad Kanogingibe is here. To give you their report and their observation during the intervention. I must, on behalf of every one of you, Show gratitude to them. Patriotism and dedication, seal for which they have responded to the assignment to intervene and bring peace, stability back to Niger. They have feasted. Libya, Algeria, and they were received by leaders there. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, following the resolution of our previous extraordinary summit to initiate a meeting of ECOWAS Chief of Defense Staff, the meeting of the Chief of Defense Staffs was duly held from 2nd to 4th of August 2023. The outcome of that meeting, as well as a memorandum by the President of the ECOWAS Commission on current social and political development in Niger, in Niger, will be presented during this summit. This will offer critical insight that will inform our collective decision-making process at this meeting. Today's summit provides a significant opportunity for meticulously reviewing and assessing the progress made since our last gathering. It is essential to evaluate the, the effectiveness of our interventions and identify any gaps or challenges that may have in that progress. Only through this comprehensive assessment can we collectively chart a new sustainable path towards lasting peace, stability, 
and prosperity in Niger. More so, in reaffirming our relentless commitment to democracy, human rights, and the well-being of the people of Niger, it is crucial that we prioritize diplomatic negotiations and dialogue as the bedrock of our approach. We did. And we still look to engage the party involved, including the coup leaders, in earnest discussion to convince them to relinquish power as suggested and reinstate President Bazoum. It is our duty to exhaust all avenues of engagement to ensure a swift return to constitutional governance in Niger. More specifically, as leaders of our respective nations, we must recognize that the political crisis in Niger not only poses a threat to the stability of the nations, but also has far-reaching implications for the entire West African region. My remaining steadfast in our adherence to the principle of democracy, good governance, and the rule of law, we can restore peace, stability, and prosperity in the Republic of Niger, thereby fostering an environment conducive for growth and development for all. esteemed excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. I'm confident that the second ECOWAS extraordinary summit today on the social political situation in Niger will be a defining moment in our journey towards a stronger, more resilient, and integrated West Africa. Let us seize this opportunity to make a lasting impact on the lives of our fellow Africans. Who is can do it except us. We must resolve to do it ourselves, and we are the only one. I extend my gratitude to each of you for your attention to this critical issue. I, draw, I trust that our deliberation will be productive and fruitful, leading us to finding an amicable solution to the political crisis in Niger. As we continue to work together in solidarity and harmony, we can ensure a prosperous future for the entire continent, not just only West African sub-region, but our continent, Africa. With these remarks, I hereby declare this extraordinary summit. Gracias.